and welcome to another Django tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com. In today's tutorial, we're going to take our model that we created a couple tu tutorials back and then we migrated it last tutorial. Now we're able to use it in the admin interface. So it's like a little bit of eye candy to keep us motivated here. We're going to go ahead and put our model into the admin interface so we can actually interact with something, see something that we built. So to take the model and put it into the admin interface is very simple. It only takes two lines of code. So before we even do that, let's go ahead and fire up our server and take a look at what is there now. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so Python manage.py run server. Now if you remember correctly, in our um, previous tutorial when we looked at the admin interface, all we had was uh, authentication and authorization right here right so this is what we have this is an app that comes uh, already installed with the Django and um, so this with this allows us to create users and groups so that's already installed and you know yeah it's cool we looked at you could add some people you add a name password what what have you but it's not something we created so let's go ahead and um, add what we created. So go ahead and open up your admin.py file in your lessons app. All right. So we open that up and we see a line of code that's already there for us. And it says from the Django.contrib. And the contrib directory actually is a um, directory that contains a bunch of uh, packages that ships with the Django. And the Django likes to refer to it as batteries included. So for example, the admin interface is a pretty cool feature. It ships with the Django. So in the contrib uh, directory, that's where admin is. All the code that allows us to work with the admin interface. Okay. Also in contrib, there's several other packages that we may or may not see. But they're pretty cool packages that, hey, the Django designed for us to use. And it makes our life a lot easier. So you're going to see how easy this package makes our life when we add our model to the admin interface. Now for us to add our model we got to be able to access our models. So in our models.py folder oh, alright so in our models.py folder we created a class called lesson and we need to be able to have access to this lesson which is actually a database table. Alright so let's go ahead and take a look at this. First, we got to do from looks kind of similar up here, and we're going to do dot models. All right. So, what's the dot models? Well, dot models is we put a dot. We don't have to put anything in front of it when the model is in the same directory as the admin.py. Now, if the model was in say LPT down here, then we would have to put LPT. All right. But since they're in the same directory. We don't need to put the LPT, we just put dot models. And then we want to import our table or our class. And our class was called lesson. Alright, so what we're doing is saying from models. So what admin's gonna do, admin.py is gonna go into models, and inside models, it's gonna go import the class lesson. Kind of sounds funny, class and lesson. Um, anyway it's going to import lessons so it makes this all available to us inside the, Dang the Django admin file alright so now that we did that we need to add one more line of code and that's registering our um, table with at, with the admin.py or the admin package or the admin interface I should say alright and to do that we do admin which is a directory that contains a bunch of um, code for the admin interface. Then we do site, which is actually a class. If you opened up the contrib file and went to admin and looked at site, uh, you're going to find a class that contains a bunch of functions. And one of the functions is called register. And register, when we add a, um, a, a, cl a class, right here lesson to here it's going to register it and allow us to use lesson within our um, 
admin interface. So we'll add lesson. Go ahead and save that. Now let's go ahead and open up our where's my there it is. Go back to home. And if we oh we didn't have to refresh. There it is. You see we got lessons. How easy is that? Now if we open up lessons, we're going to see we have no lessons in here. So let's go ahead and add a lesson. Alright, so first one is going to be the Jang intro, the intro to Django. I don't know that that there. And then the next one is going to be a slug. So we'll just do intro to the Django one. Alright. And the title, same thing. Intro to the Django. And my awesome lesson is going to say intro to the Django. Alright. You guys are going to learn a lot in this lesson, Intro to, to Django. And we'll publish it because that's some great content right there. And we'll save it. Now I'm going to get an error. And the error is because Slug right here, if you're familiar with Slugs, if you worked with them in, in uh, web development, uh, Slugs can't have spaces. All right, They can have letters, numbers, underscores, and hyphens. Now, you could do it like that, or you do it underscore personally I think underscore is easier to read so that's how we're gonna do it now later on when we're working with this we're gonna make this automatic it's gonna do this automatically so you don't have to worry about updating slug it's actually just gonna take the title and create a slug alright but for now this is how we're gonna do it so we can save it so we save that and if we come back in back to our home real quick and go back to the lessons you're gonna see intro to the Django. That's pretty cool, right? Well, um, it's cool, but this is this interface right here is not, you know, feature heavy. I, I like to see a lot of features. So in the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and change the features. But before we jump into the next tutorial, I want to show you something. Remember how when we made the model, where's my thing here? Yep. We made the model and we did uh, define string self return self dot title. This is where we're getting this, all right? So if I come back here and change this to, let's change it to slug. We'll save that, come up here, refresh this, and you see we get our slug, intro underscore to underscore to Django. Pretty cool, right? Um, but I'm gonna keep this as title, not slug. So we'll ch change this back to title save that go back to refresh to make sure it changed and there you go it's back to um, intro so we're going to take a look at making this a little bit more feature uh, giving this a couple more features in our next tutorial and we'll add some more lessons if you have any questions please leave a comment on youtube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com don't forget to like the video don't forget to share the video and don't forget to leave us a comment and let us know how we're doing we'll see you in the next tutorial